Today we are down in Lake Sumter here at the Villages and we are gonna do a refresh review, kind of like our bonefish refresh review to where our first video wasn't very good so we came back to the second video. Same sort of thing, we weren't really pros at, oh, I mean we're not pros now, but weren't really that good at filming. And that's gonna be a Lighthouse Point Bar and Grill. We have not been there in about a couple of years. I don't think that video was uh, too great. So, as long as it's not a crazy busy time today, we're gonna go there, do a refresh review, and show you what it's like. Let's go check it out. We are here kind of, oh, there's Johnny Rockets for those of you that know our little story about Johnny Rockets, there it is. Lighthouse Point is over that way. So we kind of have to go around the square and uh, this way, then that way. RJ Gators over there, we did a review at, uh, if you go to the, to the right, there's public restrooms, just on past the public restrooms, you'll find Lighthouse Point. Here's the water right down here. It doesn't seem like it's super busy. Um, I, I think you can do reservations online. Not 100% sure. Now we do remember what we got last time and the pineapple salad is one of Timber's absolute favorites. Since we haven't been in two years, we're gonna actually, she's gonna get that again. Unless they took it off the menu, we'll have to just see. See, there's the sign, there's the lighthouse, trolley tour, boat tour, a little bit about Lighthouse Point. Got this little compass on the ground. Summer of 23. Guess they got their menu out here. Which we'll look at the menu inside, but they do have their menu. And then over here they've got live music Sunday 1 to 4, Wednesday 5 to 9, Friday and Saturday 3 to 6, and 7 to 10, happy hour 11 to 5 daily. It might be happy hour right now, I'll have to look. It's currently 326, so it is happy hour. They've got these little fans blowing with the mist. Here's September Entertainment. Got a little dog water bowl area. So we, last time we did outside seating, this, oh, there's restrooms right here. Restrooms right when you walk in. Um, normally we would do outside, but we haven't done inside yet. So we thought let's do inside today. Um, no wait, which is nice. I don't see any hours on the door but we are heading this way. Look at the bar. We're gonna be right down here. We sat right out there last time. It actually feels pretty good in here. It's not super cold or super hot, um, but here's what their bar area looks like. And they do have football going on and a bunch of TVs in here that you can watch on the inside whereas the outside is going to be more of a natural view but pretty nice bar. Here are some of the captain captain's cocktails. I'm not sure what the happy hour consists of so we might have to ask but here we have some more drinks. We got Hall and Oates playing in the background. We actually did a video at the concert we went to there. That was a good concert. Some desserts. Bananas Foster's Cheesecake back to the captain's cocktails. You can see their tables also um, themed Lighthouse Point Bar and Grill. And now it's time to look at the menu even though I just kind of showed it a second ago. We've got the Boom Boom Shrimp here, appetizers, got the salads. Uh, what was it, Timber? The Do they have it? They don't have it? They don't have the pineapple salad anymore? It's like a pineapple coconut salad something. Is it not toasted coconut salad? Huh. It had cheese in it. Oh yeah. They must not have it anymore. Uh, look at this New England clam chowder. And if we turn the page, handhelds, you can get a gluten-friendly bun for $3 extra, all served with fries and slaw. So the waitress just came and she said what? Beer, wine, and like well drinks. So like the, um, Coke and rum, lemon drop, but not the specialty cocktails, but everything else is half price. And then their special today was lobster, I think. Twin tail lobster, where 
Oh, Twin Tails. And it's $29.99. That is a good deal considering it's normally $42. Um, but let's pick it back up with the menu here. So I'll just do this side again. We've got the handheld platters served with cornbread fries and slaw substitute rings or sweet fr sweet fries. What are sweet fries? Gluten-free batter and then entrees down here. Cool. That looks like a good menu. I'm hungry, so let's see what we're going to get. Look at this green monster, a 10-inch all-beef hot dog. That sounds good, too. Um... I think we need to try the New England clam chowder. I think maybe we did that last time, but then we're gonna try to share a couple things here. I believe we're gonna share the blackened shrimp that comes with cornbread, fries, and slaw. I'm gonna ask what sweet fries are, and then I think we're gonna add a New England clam chowder on as well, and that's what we'll do. They've got a really good menu. It all, I mean, it all sounds good. So the sweet fries are just sweet potato fries. We're gonna try this water and see how good the water is. All right, here's the water. Oh, that's good water. You want some good water? That's good water. Well, that took like literally two minutes tops and they brought it out already. You can see the steam coming off there. Pretty good sized bowl of New England clam chowder. We will see how well it compares to Celebration Town Tavern. Who's taking packets? The bird? Yeah. Who's taking what? Packets. There's a bird taking sweetener packets. What the heck? Clam? Mussel? Something like that? There's a mussel in it. Oh, we can. Clam. That's Daisy. Uh, yeah, well, they forgot to take the shell out. It can't beat the celebration. Oh, wow. Uh, close? I'd say that's close. Yeah, we gotta have everybody try it. Have others try it. It's, it's, it's good. Bill Weathers holding that note there in the background. It's tasty, right? It's close. I, I mean, I'd have to go back to Celebration Town Tavern and try it again. The bird's back. Where's the bird at? Oh, up top there. I mean, you're the you're the clam chowder person. What do you think? It's up there. That's tasty. That didn't take too long. Maybe ten minutes tops to get everything out. Here's what our little uh, shrimp platter looks like. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The fries that you you just got the coleslaw instead there. And that's what the Mac Daddy looks like. Oh, oh, all right. Let's dig in. Let's see how these fries are. Seem good. That one fell apart. Yeah, we'll just have to try them. My mom had 12 pieces of shrimp. I don't know if it's... Oh, we had one hiding under the cornbread, so we had 12 too. Let's try a fry. Decently crispy. Oh. The fry's pretty good. The coleslaw has pieces of mandarin orange in there. Let's try a shrimp. That's good shrimp. Very tasty shrimp. Cornbread. It's like sweet cornbread. That's good cornbread. And then coleslaw. Good coleslaw. Very good coleslaw. Oh. Mac Daddy. That's pretty good. I like the Thousand Island on there. All right. We are all finished and heading out. Total price was around, I think, $67 for four of us for some good seafood. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody was very nice. I think that was the manager at the front and he was on top of it. Very awesome. Oh, football specials. There's a joke. All right. Heading back out right here by the water. Look at that. It actually feels pretty nice outside. So, I mean, if you come like more in the fall time, you might want to get an out side seat i will say be careful there are lizards everywhere and they just don't want to move so be careful where you're walking okay that was our trip out to lighthouse point bar and grill right there behind us with the lighthouse i have to say it's good mm -hmm. i mean it's it's a good go-to um bummer they didn't have the salad yeah but it's okay but what we had was great yeah 
and uh, everybody was friendly. It might have been a better experience than the first time we went. Not that the yeah. first one was bad or anything, but they were on top of it. It took hardly any yeah. time. I mean, we were in and out within like 30 minutes maybe. Yeah. And um, it was good food, good seafood, good chowder, chowder, um, good water. Yeah, all good. No complaints. My mom did say that that was a lot of shrimp. Like she couldn't hardly even eat all. I don't even think that did she. I don't know if she did or didn't. Shared some of it. Shared some of the shrimp. Anyway, gives you another place to eat over here at the villages. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.